It's Haley Reese, and I hope that you guys are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you. When this video finally reaches you, welcome to or welcome back to my channel, you guys. I am so excited about today's video because it is a paranormal encounter, a paranormal case, so to speak, that is absolutely chilling and just goes to show that there is so much more to life than we could even imagine, and that when we do pass, it, it's never truly the end. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this because the minute that I heard of this particular paranormal case, I wanted to share it with you guys. But before we get into today's video, lately I have been really into making sure that I am giving my body all of the vitamins that it truly needs. So with that being said, I am so thankful for today's video sponsor, Source. Source is a new fun way to ensure that you take your supplements daily. You can now take your vitamins coated in a delicious dark chocolate. Yeah. You heard that right. You guys, I can't even explain to you how good these taste. I'm not even exaggerating you. Like if I went to the store and bought chocolate and it tasted just like this, I would eat it and thoroughly enjoy it with no idea that I'm getting my vitamins in. So you can get your daily supplements while also enjoying a treat, which I love. I honestly can't say whether I like the Hype Bites or the Glow Bites better, but one thing that I can say is something that I love about the Glow Bites is that collagen supplements made from animals take months to work and this vegan alternative provides results results in just two weeks and they help improve your skin's moisture, texture, and elasticity. So if you guys want to try Source today, I will have a link down in my description box. You can click that link and get 30% off your first order using my code Haley30. And thank you so much to Source for sponsoring this video. But with that being said, let's get into this paranormal case. All right, so this case follows a young girl named Janet. Now Janet was born as what she could only imagine a surprise. <laughs> she actually had an older sister who was 16 years older than her and it seemed as though her parents must have just wanted the one child. I mean they even admitted to her throughout her childhood that she was the greatest blessing and surprise that ever came into their life and that they wouldn't change a single thing. Now when Janet was around six years old, her father would pass away in a car accident and she really relied on her big sister, despite the giant age gap and the fact that as she was growing up, her sister was moving on with her life and eventually moving out and starting a life of her own, she really relied on the guidance of her big sister. When Janet was eight years old, her sister would move out into her own space, but she would always come to visit Janet. That was something that she really noticed about her sister, was that no matter how much older she was or what life was, was putting in front of her, she would always make time, almost daily, to call and see how Janet was doing or to come by and check in, and she felt like she was the luckiest girl in the entire world to have a sister that she had. Now, as Janet was growing up, she was a very spiritually aware young girl. She noticed when the energy in rooms would change. She had a lot of paranormal experiences growing up and something that her mom noticed about her was that she was always talking to imaginary friends that would wind up being not so imaginary but that was just something that they learned to accept as Janet was growing up. The older that Janet was getting, the almost wiser when it came to her spiritual side she became. She would be able to go out in public and see the deceased loved ones of people in the stores and she was really able to tap into that realm. And something that was really great about that was that she was never shamed for it. Her sister nor her mother would ever shame her for her gift. They allowed her to embrace it and be exactly who she wanted to be. Her mom would often refer to her as her little miracle. And she would say that the reason she believed she came as such a surprise was because the world needed a soul like Janet's. But unfortunately, when Janet would be just 18 years old, her sister would pass away in a car accident. And this left Janet so lost. She couldn't understand or fathom how both her father and her sister passed away in a car accident. It actually instilled a fear in her when it came to cars and she was just broken down. As I said, her sister was a really big part of her life. She was always going over there to see Janet, always you know, making sure Janet was okay, taking care of her, giving her that big sister advice and just really was her shoulder to lean on. Now something that was absolutely devastating to Janet was that while she could see spirits all the time, 
her sister wasn't coming to her. She would stay up at night and she would, you know, pray and ask for her sister to come and let her know she's okay. And her sister would not come to her at all. And this started to make Janet really question their earthly connection. She couldn't understand why she couldn't at least just give her a sign because Janet knew that it might be devastating and harder for her to move on if her sister came to her as the other spirits did and was able to talk with her like that. Janet would always want her to come like that, but she was just asking her for signs that she was okay. Just a way for Janet to know that she's crossed on and she's at peace and she's, she's happy. And this just, wasn't coming to Janet and she was getting very, very frustrated, hurt and exhausted with it. So eventually she would stop calling out to her sister altogether and really felt alone. At this point, Janet and her mother started arguing a lot. There was a lot of tension in the house. I mean, throw in the fact that Janet is not only a teenager, but now all she has left in this world is her mom, who's also grieving the loss of her daughter and it just caused a lot of tension. So. Janet was really starting to rebel a little bit and become very reclusive and she started hanging out with the wrong crowd and using different substances. She was just really on a downward spiral. Now, one thing that Janet noticed was the more substances she partook in, the more that she would pull away from her gift. She wasn't able to communicate with the other side as much. She was losing connection to the spirit realm because her mind was so clouded and foggy. And one night she would meet a guy, they were drinking, you know, in a party scene, and she would wind up pregnant. And he wanted absolutely nothing to do with the child. And this left Janet absolutely devastated. She had no clue what she was gonna do. She didn't know how she was gonna talk to her mom about it. And she would stay up at night yelling and crying and wishing that her sister could be there to help her and to guide her. One night, Janet was contemplating what she was gonna do, weighing out her options, weighing out her choices, feeling incredibly alone, when she rolled over and saw her sister standing in the room. Her sister walked over to her bed, sat down on it and said, there's something that I've been waiting to tell you until I felt like you were ready. Now, even though all Janet wanted was her sister, she was angry. So instead of opening up and saying, what, what is it that you want to tell me? She started actually yelling at her sister saying, why have you left me? Why did you abandon me? All these years I've been begging for a sign. Where have you been? And her sister looked at her and said, you just weren't ready yet, but I'm ready to tell you something that I should have told you a long time ago. And she began to explain to Janet that she was actually Janet's mother, not the mom that she thought. The mom that she thought was her grandmother, that she'd had her at 16 years old, alone and scared, and that she didn't know what she was gonna do. But her mom looked at her and told her that they would do it together and that she would raise her baby as her own and that they would be sisters growing up but that she would always know that her daughter was taken care of and loved. And she explained to Janet that she'd always wanted to tell her, but she thought she'd have more time on earth and she wasn't able to. And the older that Janet was getting and the closer that they were getting, she didn't wanna say anything that was gonna ruin their relationship. Now Janet was obviously absolutely shocked, but all she felt was unconditional love and peace. And she looked at her sister with a new set of eyes for the first time and told her that she was scared. And her mom looked at her and told her that this baby is sent to guide her on a beautiful path and that she can do it. She's capable, she's strong, and that she will be watching over her every single step of the way. Now, at first, Janet didn't know what to think of the experience. She didn't know if she should be angry at her mother that she now knows is her grandmother, or if she should be just thankful that she was raised in a healthy, happy household. So she went into her mom's room, she woke her up, she explained everything, and they just cried and held one another. And Janet didn't feel any anger. All she felt was unconditional love. And she told her that she was gonna have a baby too. And they both just cried tears of joy. And at that moment, Janet knew that she would never be alone, that her mother was watching over her in heaven. But the story doesn't even stop there. Nine months later, Janet gave birth to a beautiful, healthy baby girl with a birthmark in the exact same spot 
that her mother had. And Janet believes that it's a kiss from heaven on the baby from her mom. Isn't that so crazy, you guys? I've heard of people, actually I've known people who their mother raised their child as her own and they grew up thinking that they were siblings. So that wasn't too out of the norm for me, but I just think it's so beautiful to know that our loved ones are always watching over us, always guiding us, and we're never alone. It's never truly the end. It's just, this is the now and this is our earthly experience. What do you guys think of this particular paranormal encounter? I would love to know down in the comments below. I wanna hear all of your guys' thoughts. I love when we can engage in different conversations and I get to hear your guys' stories, so definitely let me know down in the comments below. And that is it for today's video. Before I close out today's video, I would just once again like to thank Source for sponsoring. If you guys would like to receive 30% off, as I said, all you gotta do is click the link down in my description and use my code Haley30 and yeah, thank you so much, Source. That is it for today's video. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed but you do enjoy my videos, I would seriously love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my lips, do all things with kindness and until next time, I love you guys.